good morning everybody welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Jessica I'm a digital nomad currently living in Anchorage Alaska trying to build a travel channel during the pandemic so if you're interested in joining the journey feel free to subscribe down below so it is Tuesday January 5th and today is a productive day in my life Yesterday, work was finally back. I had an accidental two-week vacation because there was absolutely zero work for me to do. So it really felt good yesterday to get back to being productive, having somewhat of a schedule, and getting stuff done. So I'm excited for another one of those today. I've already gotten up, done my yoga, done my reading for the morning, and it's about 9 o'clock now sun's beginning to come up just just starting and I'm ready to go and get to work we also will probably be going ice skating today because it is finally above 10 degrees <laughs> which apparently is the new threshold for when I'll go outside so let's get into the video I haven't checked in in forever. It's 12.30 and I've been working away. I, despite having been working for three hours, somehow I barely made any money. But it's 20 degrees and it is looking like a little bit clear outside. So we are going to get our booty outside to ice skate for a little bit, maybe stop at the grocery store, and then come back and get to work. But, you know, I've only got a few hours of sunlight left, so I'm going to get out there and take a break, and maybe I'll be more productive when I get back. The work is a little bit more... I, I think the work was better yesterday, just the quality of videos I was getting. So today, it's slim pickings again. Um, I probably need to start thinking about maybe adding in another job or something like that. But the problem is, is that nothing is going to be as flexible and enjoyable as this job. <laughs> so I just try to cling to that. But the things have been, as you guys have noticed, a little bit uh, off. So we'll see. But we're going to get outside a little bit for the day. And come back and get back to work and be productive. Hey! <laughs> That's what we're working with today, guys. I love my winter wonderland. <laughs> 20 feels great. I'm sweating. of life truly because I've got the yoga every day and I'm trying to ice skate as often as possible as well 
particularly this week. It's supposed to be nice for the next few days. Alrighty guys, we're back from the store. I'm heating up my chili that I made the other day for my lunch. I honestly don't even feel that hungry. I think those, those breads, those pieces of bread that I ate this morning really fill me up, which is a good thing because normally when I eat, I'm hungry like two hours later. So that's a good thing. Had a very successful grocery shopping trip. I just got a couple of little items. For once, I didn't spend an obscene amount of money, thankfully. <laughs> and I'm very excited. And it's time to eat lunch and then get back to work. Really quick, I cannot believe that the sun's already about to go down in like another hour. It's 2.30 now, so I was out for like two hours, I think. Um, I am sad about that. I don't like working when it's dark outside, but obviously that's a 100% necessity at this point. And I don't like how my schedule has shifted to being so late. But again, you have to adjust to where you're living, and that's just how it is, obviously. Um, but it's just kind of bizarre to me because I like waking up early and doing all this stuff and now my schedule is so weird and I am not even tired or, and I'm like struggling to sleep around 12 or 1 so that I can wake up at 7 and that's like a good amount of sleep and it's still an early hour to wake up it's just not what I'm used to Oh, look at that. <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to eat now because I really need to get back to work because it's 2.30 and I've barely done anything. Oh dear, oh dear, you're about to fall. I had to make this tea because I'm cold. cold, but I took off the shirt that I was wearing when I was skating because I was a little bit sweaty, I didn't realize, and so I think that's why it was cold. So I took that off. Now that I'm in dry clothes, <laughs> I'm feeling better. But we've got our warm beverage and we are actually working again. It's 3 o'clock. I'll see you again in 6 hours if I'm doing it properly. <laughs> I'm really excited about dinner tonight, so get excited. <laughs> I'm clearly stalling right now because I'm filming again. It's only been a few seconds. <laughs> um, I'm just sitting here on the couch working because these chairs <laughs> are the world's most uncomfortable chairs. It's like I, you kind of slide off and they're very, very uncomfortable. So working at that desk or, you know, table thing, counter with this is the only option other than other than sitting here. So I'm stuck working at this couch. And one of my biggest productivity tips for working at home is to work at a desk. Like, do not work where you relax. And obviously this is a studio, so I do my relaxing and my working all in the same spot. <laughs> but it just, it's very hard <laughs> to be motivated when you're sitting on your couch. <laughs> but we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Guys, I think I kind of overdid it today. Um, I also had a lot of sugar today, so I don't know if it's from working out too much or eating too much sugar, but I literally just fell asleep like, while I was working, like doing video and 
falling asleep <laughs> in the middle of it and realizing it's been the video kept playing and I'm I then actually laid like put the computer aside and went to sleep so I don't know what's happening but I'm feeling my body is feeling pretty <laughs> worn out and I'm just exhausted so I'm not really sure what to do I'm gonna try and work more but I I almost want to go to bed at 5 30. I think maybe I just did a little bit too much today <laughs> like physically I don't know <laughs> it's just my little update for right now I'll let you know what I decide <laughs> maybe I could have coffee because <laughs> I have to work but I'm tired so coffee right this is how my brain works because I love coffee so I'll use any excuse the tea had caffeine in it so why did I fall asleep after it though hmm could have been a painter could have studied law instead you on my paintbrush you're my curriculum could have been a sailor could have been an astronaut All right, guys, so I got bought cod from the store, which I'm going to make tonight. Never done this before, so I'm not quite sure, but what I did was paprika. This pepper. Salt. And then I did some dill and parsley. And I think I'm going to add basil as well. And then, of course, lemon juice. And I've got butter and olive oil in the pan. And then... I'm going to bake it at 400 for starting at 10 minutes and we'll see how long it needs. I saw you out in Leicester Square, thought about you in the shower. I played to watch you stand up there and gave you all the power. Say she's a work of art You pick her up from school But she blows you off I think my body is confused by all the working out I've been doing because I'm suddenly starving at 9.30pm so we're gonna have a banana and an apple and some peanut butter Um... Yeah, so the work ran out, which is why you've seen me starting my nut routine. My plan is to just... Um, obviously, I've had a little bit of trouble in, like motivating myself to work. And it's frustrating and it's honestly hard to show on here because I want to show myself being productive. I, I actually wake up a lot of days and I'm like, okay, today's going to be my productive day in the life. <laughs> and then it just doesn't happen. And basically... There's that quote, if change nothing and nothing changes, there's one. And then another one, which is one of my absolute favorite quotes, because it's just so simple, but so damn true. And a lot of people don't follow it. If things aren't going right, they just keep doing the same thing. And nothing changes, because that's how it works. Um, I can't remember the other quote right now, so we'll just stick with that one. <laughs> so basically, my idea is to make a change and what I am doing making sure everything's clean before I go to bed and I'll prep for the morning the workout is a change I've also been reading in the morning which is a change so already changed a couple of things but you know getting back after the vacation it takes a few days to get back in the productivity I guess so I um, also and right now I'm listening to podcasts that inspire me. I listen to a lot of entrepreneur podcasts or yeah a lot of entrepreneur podcasts are like personal growth and personal development podcasts and so I'm listening to the Tim Ferriss show right now which is an incredible incredible podcast and Tim Ferriss wrote one of the books that began the process of changing my life which is a book called The 4-Hour Workweek I highly recommend that book 
that book along with The Miracle Morning, those two books in combination I read around the same time, absolutely changed my life. I'm actually planning on rereading probably both of them just to kind of get myself back in that mind state of being productive and being like crushing life basically. So I'm listening to that podcast right now and I'm going to try to incorporate more podcasts like that into my life because they make me want to be productive. They give me ideas for how to um, be more productive and like manage my time better and just improve myself because I'm I'm not happy with the amount of work I'm getting done. I'm not happy with the way I have my day scheduled where I work all day and just take breaks a million times throughout the day because I cannot focus on anything. So listening to those is my plan because we must change something in order for things to change. <laughs> change nothing and nothing changes. Such a great quote. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna eat this fruit now. I'm gonna listen to my podcast and I'm going to play some sequins. <laughs> so that's the plan. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I cannot describe to you how much better the apples are in Alaska compared to Chicago. I think I figured out they're actually from Washington are freaking amazing apples. I am going to take some with me on the plane if I'm allowed when I go back to Chicago. If I go back to Chicago. Like next. And I'm going to prove it to people because I cannot like every time I bite into this it's amazing. And back home when I go to eat apple it's like oh man do I have to eat that. <laughs> I played to watch you stand up there and gave you all the power. You say she's a work of art. You pick her up from school, but she blows you off. Don't you know you're all I want? Alrighty, guys, that's it for today's video. It is 10.30, I am going to watch a little bit more YouTube and then read my book and go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Uh -huh.